What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we're gonna be doing a little how-to daily care on my box turtles. I was going through my YouTube videos and I was like, I never made one before, so why not do it today? Also, this Sunday, I will be going to the White Plains Expo once again. Look out for another video, turn on post notifications, and let's get into this video. Turtle closure right here that you guys have seen before. It's just in the regular old stock tank, but inside we have about four inches of a mixture of topsoil, peat moss, and cypress mulch. And right here we have just a little plastic, like tub looking thing that we flipped over and it has a curved side so it can sneak right under and dig the little burrows underneath and slide in. But you can see the temperature and humidity right now. I just finished spraying down the enclosure, so the humidity is up at 72. The temperature on this side is 71. This is the cooler side over there. As you can see, I have two heat lamps going on right there. And it's nice and warm over there. I did have a uh, thermometer gauge thing over here to track the temperature on this side, but I had to move it back over here since we got an egg the other day from these guys. So we'll see how that goes. I'll keep you guys updated on that. I'll show you guys in a different video. But today is just gonna be about them. I did also just go and change their water. As you can see, they did get some dirt back in there. She already took a swim like twice. But we have another female back there buried. I don't know if you guys can see her. I'm trying to zoom in a little bit. Right back there, she's sleeping. But everybody else, they're all doing good. They're eating regularly. They're just doing great. They were also brewmated last winter, so I'm surprised that they're doing this good, seeing that they're awake and moving around in the winter this time. But today, they're gonna be eating some collard greens that I went and cleaned up and cut up for them. They did eat some yesterday, but they're gonna go bad soon, so I was like, why not throw some more in there? But you can see, they're all waiting for me already. They already know what time it is. And let's get to it. All right, I usually just take a handful really and just maybe put some over here. And then take the rest, strain the water a little bit. I'll drop one or two over here. And then the rest, I like to put it around towards the back side. I don't like to just drop it all in one spot and have them all like bomb each other. So, like that girl right there. She's doing good. But the basic needs for these guys you want to have at least around one of them just use the bathroom. I don't know if you guys heard that. But you want to have at least around 60% humidity and their temperature during the day around. 80 and then their cool spots would be around like 70 75 ish but at night you can drop the temps to around 70 so that they're not too warm or too cold they're just right in the middle and that's what i've been doing for these guys they've been doing really good and can't complain so for diet right here i have some dandelion greens that i like to give them during the week and they also have earthworms available to them which I dump a whole container of 18 which you can buy at Walmart any sporting goods store that sells live bait and I usually dump the whole container in they go crazy eat them all I do that maybe three times a week and then they also get some bananas and dandelion greens as you can see so you want to just have a mixture of fruit vegetables and protein for them their main diet is protein, so make sure you guys are giving them that. This is just another little staple diet that they need. 
one of these little things at PetSmart, Petco, whichever one, or probably any like gardening place, I would think, would sell something like this that you can just basically pump the top and just spray water throughout the whole entire enclosure. I usually try to do it at least once a day just to raise the humidity a bit and that gets there. Like, they just spark up and start running around. They go crazy. And also boosts up their mating things, I guess, because this guy right here goes crazy with all these females. <laughs> That's why I got an egg in here. I did dig around for some more, but I couldn't find any. But hopefully we'll get some more soon. Get some babies for you guys. But that's pretty much it for them. It's pretty basic. I just have some logs sitting around to make it more natural. I got a little plate down there right under the heat so it heats up and they can just sit on it. If they want to warm up a bit. At the expo, I am going to be looking to get some more fake logs and maybe some more fake plants to put around to give them some more spots to hide and make it look even better. So like I said, look out for that video. It will be dropping, hopefully, this week or next week. That's pretty much going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this, want to see some more videos, comment down below, give me some video suggestions, and follow me on Instagram. Stay tuned, subscribe, and turn on those post notifications. See you guys on the next one.